Losing a Pepsi endorsement was Ludacris' most challenging career moment, saying I couldn't understand for the life of me. Ludacris claims that losing a Pepsi endorsement deal was his biggest career obstacle during his 20 years of dominance in both entertainment and business. According to The Guardian, Ludacris was dropped from Pepsi's 2002 ad campaign, which aimed to expand the brand's appeal. After former Fox News Channel commentator Bill O'Reilly called Pepsi's hiring of the rapper immoral, the company abruptly removed the rapper Pepsi advertisement. According to the Los Angeles Times, I'm urging all law-abiding Americans to retaliate against Pepsi for partnering with a man who denigrates women, who promotes drug abuse and engages in other actions that harm people in our society, especially the impoverished, O'Reilly stated, as reported by The Guardian. We have a responsibility to listen to our customers, and we've heard from a number of people that they were uncomfortable with our association with this artist, Pepsi stated in a statement shortly after. We regret offending anyone and have decided to end our advertising campaign with the artist. While there are many different kinds of gifted celebrities and artists, not all of them fit our brands and the expectations of our customers. Ludacris took issue with Pepsi's decision. During an episode of Men's Health's The Rewind, Ludacris said, Most challenging career moment that you survived. First thing that comes to mind is Bill O'Reilly talking mess and making me lose my Pepsi endorsement. Which is very ironic because years later, if you look it up, he came and he lost his job based on some sexual allegations. So, the way the world functions and revolves is pretty funny. I couldn't for the life of me understand why a company like Pepsi would sign me. He went on. They dropped me from it just because this man had something to say about me on television.